Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video demonstrating how you can disable the chat for your meeting uh, in Teams, either before the class begins or in real time during a portion of the class. So I've got my class scheduled here within my team. It's a, a scheduled meeting in our channel. And I haven't actually yet started this class, but uh, I'll demonstrate to you how before the class begins, we could disable the chat and then show you the effect that it has for students access. So whenever we schedule a meeting in our channel, it actually adds a post um, right into our channel. And so all I need to do to disable meeting chat for students is hover over the post that was automatically created Click on the three dots beside our message where it says more options and then click edit. Now I added this text, um, a live demonstration of how to disable students access. That's what I put in the meeting details. Um, if you didn't add anything to the meeting details, you can still just hover over the space and click on the three dots and click edit. And the key thing we need to adjust is right here where it says the default is everyone can reply. So all of my students could reply to the messages I post here, which is what I want. I've got my uh, channel moderation settings set where students can't start new conversations in the channel, but they can reply. Uh, and so that is applying here as well. But for this specific meeting, let's say I don't want them to be able to access the type chat. All I actually need to do is go over where it says everyone can reply and switch this to you and moderators can reply. And now only you and, and people you've added as co-owners of the team, maybe a, a resource teacher, a co-teacher that you work with, you will be able to use the meeting chat, but your students will not be able to. So we'll select that, click on the check mark, and that's it. When we start this meeting, which I'll do now, so I'll click join. And then I will do that from the demo student's perspective as well. I'm gonna turn off my microphone camera here because we're already using that for this recording. But I will connect to the meeting as the teacher. And my demo student, I'm gonna to switch to the demo student account here. And they can see in their account, they're in the correct channel and they see that this meeting has started. So they'll click join and click join now. And they're gonna be met with a message in a moment that they're uh, in the virtual lobby and, and they're waiting to be admitted in. So as a teacher, I can go back and just click admit. And so now that my students are admitted to the meeting, we could begin as normal. I can use the chat. Um, so I'll just demonstrate here. I'll say hello, everyone. Uh, a heads up that the meeting chat will be disabled for this meeting. I could send them that announcement here. I could mark it as important if I want, but I'll send that. And so a demonstration for the student here, if I go to the student perspective, they can see that there's this message saying that there's a new conversation. They can click on that to open it up. So they can see this and now the students would still see the bar here to reply, but they won't actually be able to type into the chat. I'll just demonstrate that now. They could say like, hello everyone. Uh, and again, maybe uh, you just found that it's being, it's causing some distraction with students using the meeting chat. So if they were to send that off, you'll notice that for the student, it just reads as sending and it's gonna stay in this permanent state of sending. Uh, eventually they'll get a message that it failed to send uh, but that message will not be seen by anybody else in the meeting. If I switch back to my teacher view, you notice that no message from the demo, demo student came through. So that's how we can disable the meeting chat. Now, students could still use the private chat feature to message you to ask a question if they needed support within the class. Um, so that's that option is still there but they won't be able to use the full meeting chat accessible to all of the other students. If you wanted to adjust that in real time during your meeting, we can do that as well. We can just simply, we can have our class meeting still going on here. And I just need to navigate back to my main class team page instead of the meeting. And if we go back to that same post that was created, um, again, for our meeting here, if I go back to those options, I hover over it and click on the three dots and click edit. I could now switch these permissions. So where we, we again clicked on the formatting icon so that you can see here that it's now, it was set to you and moderators can reply. If I want to allow a demo student now to contribute to the meeting chat, I could just switch that back to everyone can reply. So if we do that, click on the check mark. I'll demonstrate that again from the demo student's perspective. They got that message previously saying it failed to send their, their message to everyone. Um, I'll just say, does it work now, for example? 
but they'll send that off and they see confirmation that their message sent at 320. Here's the pop-up notification for me as the teacher. And I can go back into the uh, chat and see that it's now working. So again, those permissions can be adjusted in real time on the fly in your meeting. So I wanted to outline that because it's a question that I come up from a number of teachers. Um, and so that we just want to clarify how that is done. Uh, the other piece while, you know, on this topic is that you can also disable your students access to use their microphone if you like. Um, that can actually be done right from the meeting interface itself. Um, where these three dots are at the top of your meeting under more actions. If we click on meeting options, you'll see that again, the defaults that the lobby is enabled that only you can bypass lobby. You are the only presenter and all your students are attendees, but there is this area, uh, option as well for allow attendees to unmute. And that is on by default so that students can unmute and use their microphones. But if you had a portion of the class again, where you did not want them to be able to enable their microphones, we can in real time again toggle this feature on or off so if i was to toggle this off and click save i'll go back to the demo student view and you'll see this here mic is disabled for all attendees raise your hand if you would like to speak so you notice that the demo students account here their microphone is now grayed out and it's got a symbol indicating that it's been uh, blocked if they do need to share something with the group, though, a really nice feature is that they can click on raise their hand. And as a teacher, if I go back to my view as a teacher, I'll see that demo student has raised their hand it's right here. And I can look in the list of participants. They would always bump that student up to the very top here. But a really nice piece is that I can see beside demo student's name, their hands raised, that their microphone's disabled. If I click on the three dots beside their name, I have this option now to allow to unmute and that will apply selectively to just the demo student. Um, the rest of the class will still have that permission of, of nobody can dis, uh, enable their microphones, but I could selectively allow demo student to unmute. They could now turn on their microphone and share with the group. And then when they are done, I can just click on the three dots again, switch that back to don't allow to unmute. And if they forgot to lower their hand, I can lower their hand for them. And that's it, and we can continue on as normal. So the, those are two, again, options that you have to control the typed chat in your meetings and also students' ability to use the microphone. Um, I hope that helps clarify those features for people. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, you can send me a message in Teams. This is the quickest way to get a hold of me, and I'd be happy to support you going forward. Thanks.